All right, there we go. Now I should be able to be heard. Yeah, sometimes I just need to unplug and plug it back in. It loses its connection or signal or something. But yeah, so what I was saying, we have a lot of changes coming. And a lot of changes that just happened. So I did the dumb thing where I, um, I updated the software right before I went streaming. So that's why I'm a bit late. No, it's a little bit late. Um, but yeah, so we have the new version of Stream Raiders is up and the battle's going. Got 21 minutes and 40 some seconds. So um, the thing that's not working today is uh, any of the really fun commands. You want focus camera? So like uh, potato and wormy and those commands, those are not working today. But I added a new command, a new feature where I have a bunch of random questions and exclamation Q should, should bring up a question, which it's not. So awesome. But it's also set on a 10 minute timer. So I don't know if the timer rule overrides the command. So no, potato won't work today. Potato won't work. That's what I was saying. I updated the, the program right before like a silly person. Um, yeah, so that's what caused me to be late was that I was trying to like get it to work, get it to work. And it's not. Well, actually, maybe I need to refresh it in the browser. Let's try refreshing it and see what happens. Um, I know sometimes that needs to be done. Let's try the Q thing again. Hey, SWAT! You think five bean boozles is. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What do we have? Nope, Q's still not working. But. Um, five. Five is good. Hold on, let me check here. Uh, so yeah, the... Looks like... But the timer's working, so every ten minutes, a question will pop up in chat. Oops. Let's go ahead and... So wait, you said five bean boozle? Okay. I know it takes a little bit. Those alerts should be working though. And actually, that'll be a double alert. So if we get donations today, um, which it sounds like we might have one incoming, um, those will go off twice. So Tiltify donations will go off twice. I'm not going to say that's intended, but it's expected. <laughs> um, we are testing out a couple different things. So the potato thing and the question thing, that's one software. Uh, the other software is actually through St. Jude itself. They've con uh, they've collaborated with uh, some you know, integration individuals and they have their own alerts now. So I'm using the Streamlabs alerts and I'm using the St. Jude alerts. And the St. Jude ones are actually really cool. They're really cute. So and somebody's ringing our doorbell. But yeah, so today... Oh. Ipsy package. This is the, the monthly makeup thing, because I'm trying to do makeup. It's, it's not something I've really done before. I don't know how to go shopping for it. I don't know what I like. So this is a relatively inexpensive program. Uh, well, program. It's a subscription box thing. And you know what? I need to donate to my own campaign because I donated to Fairy Wings to campaign today. Alright, so this is a crazy fuzzy um, bag. It's like a little leather thing. Uh, zipper pull. Okay, let's, let's pull this out first. Home for the holidays. It's where the heart and fun is. 
rock those festive playlists, don a red lip, indulge in what you love and who you love. It's what the holidays are all about. Alright, so Gold Fadden Facial Detox Clarify plus Clear. Oh my goodness, there we go. There it comes from. There it comes from. There it comes. So that was the St. Jude one. And that's the Streamlabs one. So yeah, it looks like we got uh, five Bean Boozles coming. And there's an example of one of the questions. HZG Bot will be posting those questions. Alright, guys. Beans! Beans! Courtesy of Anonymous, but maybe Anonymous SWAT type? Alright, and we're not gonna do the spinner, because the spinner... Actually, SWAT type. Do you want me to do... I can't believe I'm offering this. Do you want me to do them one at a time, or five at once? I really shouldn't offer this. Five at once would probably be absolutely terrible. One at a time, okay. One at a time just, like, makes it longer if they're bad. Uh, so yeah, not gonna use a spinner, just gonna grab... What is this? Alright, this looks like the tutti fruity one. Um... So it's tutti fruity or stinky socks. Just a second, I also need to go shut the door. Honey, vitamins, and sugar? <laughs> Alright. Honey, vitamins, and sugar. That would be a weird food combination. But it sounds like it would be all in the sweet category. Alright. You know, it does the thing where it starts off nice. I was about ready to say, hey, it's too fruity. It's not. It has that, like, um, they add like cheesy in there when it's it's the the nasty the stinky socks. It's like cheese. <laughs> Next. All right, so that's one. This is another tutti fruity or stinky socks. I think this one's okay, but I still have like the cheesy mm, flavor from the last one, or that one had it, so I don't know if that one was good or bad. Ah, uh, okay, so it's two. Uh, so this is a yellow one. It's a buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Oh my god. Rotten egg is so bad. So that donation put us up at 200! Oh my god. Wait a second. Yeah, that... That math seems a little odd in my head. Like, it doesn't work out, but I'll look at it later. Um, yeah, so rotten egg. Or butter popcorn. Please be butter popcorn. I think. I mean, it's not terribly awful. So maybe. Mm. Maybe butter popcorn is just a weird flavor. This box is also like a year old. Um, after this. Um. Thing. I'm probably gonna throw this one out because um, I don't know if they go bad. Probably not. Maybe not. But they're also getting really hard. <laughs> they're not soft. So they're actually hard to chew. So that was number three. Uh, number four. Alright, so this is like an orangey one. Um, but I'm guessing this is strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. All right. All 
I think I lucked out. Alright. Yeah, I think the flavors are also a little muted. Um, so getting another box will probably get more reaction too. Oh, okay. Next. Look at all them emotes! <laughs> Not quite sure what we're laughing at. What we poggering? It's so many pogs. And now number five. Alright, so it's a dark colored one. Uh, so it's either chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Dog food! Mm. Ah, it's so... I can't even describe it other than... Like, it almost tastes bready or chalky. Um, but because it has the outer shell, it's sweet. 13 times combo. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we had... Two Tweety Fruity, one Butter Popcorn... Uh, what was the other ones? Uh, one of the strawberry banana smoothie, but that one didn't really taste like much. Um, and then the canned dog food. Those are the five beans. Oh, I see. You're doing the pyramid? You know, one of the things I do miss that I had from Stream Elements was the Capogen, which would actually spew the emotes all over the screen. I just wanted to remove myself from using anything Stream Elements because it's just too many things to manage. But that is a piece I miss. The emote explosions. So thank you, thank you so much, Swat Type, for those donations to St. Jude! Oh my gosh! Come on, it ruined the streak! Oh, ha ha. <laughs> um, Moobot might jump in and ruin your streak also. Oh, you know, I showered and I didn't put moisturizer on after. I don't usually, but actually my face does itch right now. And I'm thinking about for being a good sport. But yeah, I need to get a new box so that they're fresher and more intense. I think they're like like seven dollars for the box. Let's check. Yeah, so that puts us up to Alright, let's- come on. It's, it's, it makes me go through so many hoops. Okay, so that brings us up to $200. So I went- what was it? $250, I think we said, is the next giveaway. $250, stickers, a St. Jude t-shirt, and a $25 Joanne gift card. So that was actually provided by St. Jude. So... Did I miss... I feel like I may have missed a donation somewhere. Because the numbers don't... Like, I thought we were at 160 when we started stream. Maybe we were at 150. I'll have to check that out. Because if we were at 160, this should be 210. It's a 200. I don't know what's going on. Bed? You're gonna go to bed. Ah, <laughs> Crazy Nate ruined the 28 times combo! Oh, it's at 150. Okay. It's also small on my screen, uh, unless I actually go to the web page. 200! Yeah, 250 is next giveaway. And we got. Oh, I was gonna see how much the box of Jelly Belly Bean Boozled were. Bean Boozled. 
Jelly Bean Game. If you were to become famous, what would you want to be known for? There's a Bean Boozle party pack. Oh my god, no. There's... Okay, so this same package... Oh, that's weird. They're only selling them in, like, multiples. I can't get one box. A two-pack. I don't want a two-pack. There's a little container. Actually, it looks like a big container. Fifth edition! Yeah, it looks like I can't get just one. They have a holiday one that's called the Naughty or Nice version, which is probably the exact same thing, but that's $13. Ah, here we go. I can get a little box for $6. But I can't get one of that size box. Maybe I don't need that size, because obviously I... Maybe I'll get a little one for six. I'll put that on the wish list. I will put that on the streamer wish list. Oh, you're getting it? Let's see. I'm gonna put it on... for streamer list. Okay. Now... Actually, there's something I need. I'm going to be moving soon. So I need to change my address in Amazon. Alright, so... I need to make sure that the... Because I've removed it before. Alright. My account. Login security. Payments. All things Alexa. I don't have Alexa. Alright, so see more for my wish lists. More manage list. Public. Alexa can add items to your list. I don't have Alexa, so that's fine. List is for me. Um, shipping address. We're gonna go ahead and add a new one. New shipping, because I don't think you guys can see the address. I think it just goes to the shipper. So I'm okay with that. Alright, do we need additional instruction to find this address? Actually, I don't know. Save changes. Wait, why can't it save? Make sure your address is correct. Okay. Ship to this address. And save changes. Okay. No, I won't see it. Yeah. Let's do one at a time for that. I don't need more than one box of the Jelly Bellies. Uh, so... That does show up. Where is it? It should show up. I just had it. There it is. I scrolled right past it. Alright. I do have some books on the list. I need to move them lower down on the list. But that's fine. We got the beans added. Alright. Okay, and we're still working on the makeup here. Checking out what we got. So I did a quick scan of the list. So the first thing is the facial detox clarify and clear mask. Purifying Max detoxes your pores way deep down. It's infused with a soothing blend of zinc oxide, sulfur, and camphor to cleanse and minimize the appearance of pores without over drying your skin. Okay, so like, zinc oxide is 
I believe, the stuff that's in toothpaste. And it actually helps with burns. Like, it takes a sting out of burns. But then again, so does vinegar. Sulfur and camphor. Sulfur is the stuff you have in matches. And camphor... If you guys ever use um, Carmex, like the actual brand Carmex, and it has that very pungent, very like medicine-y smell, that is camphor. Now, it used to be used in a lot of medicinal things, and they had to like dial it back because it can actually... There's something about it that uh, breaks down the muscles. Like it relaxes your muscles. So when I was in marching band, um, our band instructor basically forbid any of the brass players from using Carmex. So like, he's like, you can use chapstick, you can use, these, but do not, he's like, you can use chapstick, you can use Vaseline, but do not use Carmex. Because it actually messed with the, the muscles and they couldn't play properly. So that is the Gold Fadden MD Facial Detox Clarify. And that's this dude, which we got some super bright. I don't know why the lights are so crazy. So these are all sample sizes. This is 0.6 fluid ounce. Uh, it's for oily and acne prone skin. It's not really my skin. We'll be there Thursday. Oh my goodness. Doesn't really have a scent. Cool, because like I said, we're moving, so that's gonna be at the new apartment on Thursday. And I don't get the keys till Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna have to message the lady at the office and be like, hey, so how does package delivery work? <laughs> All right, so we get that. I do wish it wasn't so blown out. All of this is blown out. At least it's blown out on that screen. Let me bring it down here. That's nah, still pretty bad. All right, battle time. We got to battles. I know that you want to, you know, make your, your donations worth it and you want to see those reactions. And you want to make sure that they're strong. All right, pretzel is loud. How we doing? How we doing? Looks like we have a decent... I mean, I'm a little worried because this was a three skull and we have like four dudes on the field. But I do- we do have like a, a monk healer, so that's good. We got a monk, we got a centurion. Oh my gosh, are we gonna do this? Yes! Yes! Um, go ahead and just do random because there's really only two people who can get the stuff. All right, um, three skull. We're gonna go back to three skulls, yes. Do another three skull. Uh, my tank? No, let's not use the tank. We need to get these guys. Let's see what's good against them. Was that the plague bomber? I think the bomber and the rogues. Oh, maybe not the rogues, maybe it's just the bomber. Alright, I guess uh, I'll be putting down a bomber. Uh, we'll probably want a healer. And probably a few other bombers, I guess. Because like we just need to get those done before... They, we need to get those frozen dinos uh, out of their blocks. Or not out of their blocks. We need to smash the blocks before they can get out. Ranged? Okay, ranged. Bunch of ranged. Boop. There's an archer. Alright. Thursday. Thursday we'll be getting more. Alright, uh, let's see. Next. So, I have a facial detox and I have a cleanser. So they're sending me, like, two facial cleaning types. I think I need to, like, go fix my profile. Because I don't need that much 
cleaner, I don't have any makeup to put on. I have a face wash. I use it most every day. <laughs> what is your favorite room in the house? I mean, honestly, it's probably this room, the office, where I spend most of my time. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna, I'm gonna go check out my profile, see why I have so many facial cleaners. Maybe that's something I put in my, because they made me take this, like, quiz. It was kind of a long quiz. But why? That's weird. Okay, I don't know. Thanks, I'll... I'll, I'll look at that later. I'll do the deals later, just not now. What is going on? Why won't you let me get out? No, okay, I'll say no thanks. Uh, okay. Refreshment shop points account. Edit account settings. It says I have 600 points. Why do I have 600 points? What can I get for 600 points? All right, so that's what I'm getting. 1,800 points gets me points. Or 1,800 gets me stuff. Where's my redeem? There we go. I could get a bag, like a different set, like a different bag. I could get eyeshadow. Or a brush set. So I still haven't gotten a brush set. Did I put that on my wish list? I think that's on like my personal wish list. The makeup brush set. Uh, because I tried ordering the one twice and it was awful. Fell apart twice and all that. Alright, so. Uh, the, the second cleanser. This isn't any old face wash. Not only does it remove makeup and purify skin, it's also infused with antioxidant-rich vitamins A, C, and E that help protect... Yeah, this is it. It's kind of clearish. That help protect against free radical damage and environmental aggressors. Bonus, the citrusy scent is so invigorating on sleepy mornings. Okay, so it's going to be citrusy smelling. It's a, there's got a seal on the inside of it. Benefit Cosmetics Pore Freshenal Pearl Primer. No matter what season, a good primer like this oil-free version from Benefit Cosmetics, known for innovative and fun makeup, that's not it, is the key to a fresh, long-lasting look. It minimizes the look of pores and fine lines. Okay, so it looks completely different than... Okay. Oh, it went... So, here's the packaging. It's super tiny. Like, that is itty bitty. I, I don't know how to give a comparison. Here's smaller than a chapstick. Smooth all over face. Layer for added brightening. Use alone under makeup as a primer or pat on top of makeup to touch up. Oil-free, silky, matte finish, soft pink. All right. I was kind of excited about the primer there because that's something that's like what you start with. You prime your face like you would a wall when you're painting because you paint your face when you put makeup on. Uh, next, Beauty For Real Lip Gloss and Shine in Nudist. Now, this is something I can put on here on stream. It's high shine, hydrating, and has a minty feel that's so refreshing on your lips. This may be just your new go-to winter gloss. It's infused with aloe vera and avocado oil for long-lasting moisture, and grapeseed oil and green tea extract to protect and deliver essential vitamins to your lips. Tip, swipe this onto bare lips, over your lipstick, or mix it with lipstick for a sheer satin, for a sheer stain. All right. 
So this is one I can, okay, brand name is Beautiful Beauty for Real. Alright, so let's see. I did this one. This is something I can do. I need to turn the music back on. It's too weird without music. And because I'm not talented enough to do my makeup with, uh, I feel like there's something I'm missing here because it's not, it doesn't have the stuff on the stick yet. All right. I actually have. A mirror. So we got color, a little bit of color, very light. It's a very light pink. It's a little sticky feeling. Shiny. Not bad. There is like that light minty feeling that's talking about. Smells sweet. It's a very sweet smelling uh, lip gloss. Uh, okay, so Beauty For Real, this, the full size of this version is 4.5 milliliters, and it's $18, so $18 for a full version of this, which is probably like four times the size, the three times the size of this, but it doesn't say how big this is. Maybe it does here. Yes, it does. Hold on. I can't believe that, like, you can get stuff to write this small, like, print this tiny. 0 0.08 ounces, 2.4 milliliters. So that's beautiful real. Alright, and the last item. Violet Voss Single Eyeshadow in Pretty Pink. Pretty in Pink. You'll want to wear this neutral eyeshadow 24-7. It's honestly that flattering and versatile. Plus, the shimmery texture is smooth, blendable, and easy to apply whether using your fingers or an eyeshadow brush. Tip, sweep this shadow across your lids alone or as a base color with other shimmery shadows. Ooh, so it thinks it's shimmery. Shop Violet Voss. That's the website. So color, pretty and pink. Violet Voss. There's a tiny little mirror in there. I don't even know. I wouldn't even call that a mirror. I can't see anything in it. But yeah, very shimmery. Got quite a bit of shine there. So let's try the finger thing. It's a little bit of light. So it says pretty in pink. It does have a good bit of red tint on it. Very shiny. Very shiny. Got on my pinky. Now this is a good place to start. A very neutral. Not crazy, 
A little bit of shine. A little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine. Maybe I'll really doll myself up for date night. Date night's Friday. What is the most useful thing you own? Probably my computer. Like, that sounds kind of weird, but I can do so much on the computer. I can game, I can work, I can talk to friends, I can stream. Um, All right, so that is this month's spread. We've got two cleansers. We've got a primer, a lip gloss, and an eyeshadow. So let's pull, this, let's pull out last month's and compare the two and see what else I have. I know last month's there wasn't much I could do with it. So last month we had this tri-color bag with a pink zipper pull. And we had, uh, okay, pressed powder, also by Pore Professional. So, same group. Uh, we have a brush for loose powders. Uh, clean whip cleanser. Uh, we had another cleanser, we had a mask. That I used the mask already. Um, and then the the eyeliner. Um, I don't remember if I actually gave this eyeliner a shot yet or not. It's called... First of all, Santorini Black Sand. Um, I find that almost an oxymoron, but since I haven't been to Santorini myself, I don't know if they have black sand. Uh, Santorini, if you think of Greece, the image that pops in your head, that is Santorini. <laughs> Um, you get lots of white in that image, but you don't actually necessarily see the beaches, so maybe they have black sand. Uh, but yeah, the name of the makeup company is Tristique. T-R-E accent S-T-I-Q-U-E. Tristique. So, cleansers, actual makeup, makeup implements. That's like my makeup collection there. That's, that's like all I have. And I'm going to keep it. All right, let's put these ones. Now, how do I want to do this? See, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the fuzzy bag. But we'll put the makeup and makeup implements in the fuzzy bag. And then we'll put the cleaners into this bag. My logic here is that this bag is slightly more waterproof. Cleansers, I will probably almost always be next to a sink when I use them. Makeup, I don't necessarily, am, I'm not necessarily gonna use water. I might be near water. Not guaranteed. So here are my two months of Ipsy bags. And we have put on the eyeshadow and the lip gloss. Actually, I do need to bring this down a bit. We had our... We had a meeting that we needed both Jingles and I in, in the frame for. Speaking of the slow blink... Slow blink... The place we're moving to... Uh, we have the option of getting a cat. I'm very excited. I'm so excited that I actually dreamed about a cat last night. It wasn't my cat, it was a friend's cat. Um, yeah. But I do need to take a restroom break. And I do actually have a bounty. So it says for one minute to watch a... Um, A commercial. Watch Meet America's new favorite sitcom family in the commercial for a minute. So we're gonna have to start tracking the bounty. Okay. I'm gonna hit start here. Alright, so we've got a clip for this commercial. 
and I need to go find the commercial link. All right, so let's go ahead and I will screen share. Alright, so it says it's America's new favorite family, the Finches. And I'll go to the bathroom after this. Alright, so let's see if we can get the browser. I know I have a browser capture in here somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you at, dude? Window capture? Where are you at? There we are. So we'll give you guys... There we are. Meet the Finches. Alright, so it says the commercial's here. The presentation. So we're gonna stop Pretzel. Turn this up. Family meeting. We're dropping, we're dropping. Family meeting. Let's go. Fine. Okay, family, please turn your attention to my multimedia presentation. Alice, we hit the lights. I I will uh I will get that. That's that's fine. Looks like we have oh. subtitles in Arabic. Slide number one, aptly titled, Why the Fincher Family Should Not Go to Uncle Vin's for the Holidays. Your mom's brother, Uncle Vin, AKA Uncle V, the man from Vinland, and my personal least favorite, Vinner Vinner Chicken Dinner. Whatever we call him, he's a nice enough man. But, over the course of, say, any period longer than 24 hours, the idiosyncrasies that make Uncle Vin, Uncle Vin, just start to wear on us. With the yurts and the futons uh, and the ferrets. There's only one ferret. And let us not forget about the 4th of July debacle of 2018. Hey, honey, say happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Check it out, guys! This is the crackling dragon. Oh, no, no. Ben, you're too close. No, oh, honey, no. you're too close. Oh, my goodness! Did you see that presentation? Did, did you hear those fireworks? The colorful Christmas and and and, and the booming audio that would put any other TV to shame. Of course you did, because of this, the X1000 4K LED projector with its ultra short throw, super I'm bright so LEDs confused. and custom tuned Harman Kardon audio. It creates a cinematic experience, whether it's in the boardroom or the family room. That was a lovely presentation. Yeah. But we're still going. Yep, fine. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll meet you there in a couple of days. Fine. Great. Kids, we're leaving at 7 a.m. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> 7 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Hey. I need to make something very, very clear. Okay? Me dojo. That's Sue Dojo. All right, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'll view Sonic Production. That's coming out on uh, 
Uh, it says it's the funniest, weirdest, most eccentric sitcom family to hit the screen in decades. The first two episodes are live to stream for free. The family is living life in the new abnormal, the AB normal. Uh, they're stuck in a yurt with their uncle Vin and his ferret Kenneth. Oh, uh, maybe I was supposed to watch a different one. This might be the other one I'm supposed to watch. Okay, hold up. Let me... Let me fix this and we'll watch the right one now. I don't need to sign up, I just need to watch it. Okay. And that's huge. Great, thanks. Okay, there we go. That's that's the actual commercial there. But we'll watch the intro to episode one. I hope that wasn't episode one fully. So there we go. The Finches. It's funny. It's weird. If you like to laugh, you'll like it. If you don't like to laugh, you might still like it. Okay, so that is The Finches. And uh, we do have our... Stream Raiders going here. Got a few people in, that's awesome. Go ahead, more ranged. And our next question is, what are you reading right now? Or crafting? Let's go ahead and turn our stream back to a regular stream and not a not a bounty one. So go ahead and manage bounties and we can end this. And tracking. I'll go ahead, I need to fix the title because I think it changed my title for me. It did. Do not. Okay. All right, so when I come back, we're actually going to be talking crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and change this right now. So we got I get to add fiber art, and we get to add crochet to these tags. All right. And time for a bathroom break.
All right, so we're back. And I can now answer the question. What are you reading right now or crafting? So one of the things I'm reading, it's called First Break All the Rules. And it's actually a book on leadership. So that's one of the ones that talks about the, the things that different leaders do. Like people that say that they're great bosses, they're great managers, what they do, um, and how a lot of what they do actually goes against conventional wisdom and manager literature and all that. I do have another pair of sunglasses. Alright, so this is the capelet project I've been talking about. I don't know if I've brought it out on stream or not. I think I may have once. But most of my other pa uh, projects are packed away. Uh, this one happened to be packed in such a way where I can pull it out and travel with it. However, I do not know where the button went. I thought I put the button in here. My nice big square button, because I put it somewhere safe. I thought the safe place was with everything else. I am mistaken on that. Oh wait, no I'm not. The button is in here. Button, button, green button. Uh, so I'm going to do some button research. Uh, like how to make uh, a button band. And a button band is the... Like the strips of fabric that you attach the button to that are usually thicker or tightly, more tightly knit or crochet or woven uh, than the rest of the piece. So here's the piece. This is it, capelet. It's just supposed to cover the shoulders. I do want it to, to connect here, like right in the center, which is what the button's for. But I need a button band, and the button band will have to go here and here, which will make it a little bigger, which is good, because currently the capelet does not come all the way to my neck. It, it actually is kind of tight, so I need to make the button band. But first we need to make it long enough. I kind of want it to cover my elbows, but the pattern here... So this is a funny story. I looked through anything labeled capelet in Ravelry, and the one that I liked was in a book I already had. I couldn't figure out why Ravelry wouldn't let me purchase it. It's because I already had it. It was already in my library. Let's do a battle. Do a battle. Get all them ranged guys in there. Oh. I keep getting the bomber and the buster mixed up. That was not what I expected to happen. I thought he was going to be the one throwing the things. I'm a dork. I really was not paying attention. Oh no, dinosaur! He's gonna eat my dudes! Adding range was a very good idea. Thank you for that suggestion. Jingles had the most kills and most assists. All right, Jingles is a four skull. Think we can do this together? This is a hard one. Um, what's this? A musketeer? Sure, we'll put down a musketeer. What do you like to cook the most? Do you also like to eat it? Hmm. I have been doing a lot of cooking lately. I don't know what I like to cook the most. Probably the squash. And yes, I like to eat it. Uh, I have two spaghetti squash I need to cook up. I want to cook them up before I go. Before I move. Okay, so here's the pattern. And you see, the original pattern does not go to the elbows. It only goes to, like, the mid-shoulder. Like, probably even above where my sleeve is. Yeah. But I want it longer. Uh, I want it longer. And I want it a little wider, so it's more like a... I don't know. Cape? I mean, I see it's cape lit. mid size cape. Uh, but there's also a, a collar I haven't done yet, and the collar flips back. So I need to be 
careful when I make it that uh, that the button band doesn't interfere with the color. So I'm going to do a few more rows of these shell stitches because I've got a ways to go with them. Uh, I do have three skeins of this yarn, so I'm not worried about it about running out. Yeah, if I'd followed the directions like to a T, I would definitely this would almost be a one skein project. Because I think I've already done extra rows. Let's see, her pattern, how many rows does she have? 9 through 12. Row 8 is the first shell. So this is row 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So like I have one whole extra row right now, and I'm going to be making more. Um... I'm trying to see if I'm getting... I think there's more shells each row. I feel like mathematically that has to be the case. But I'm not seeing where there's an increase. I think it's just the same ones. They're just kind of spread out. Yeah, no. Each row has the same number of shells. Already seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For some reason this one has seven in there. Oh wait, no, because there's a space here. That's just a space that I didn't see. Okay. So we were doing triple crochets. And we need to flip this over because we are crocheting in this direction. I need to remember how to do the triple crochets. Which I think is wrap twice, insert, wrap, pull through, wrap through two, there's one and two, wrap, pull through two, one and two, and wrap, pull through the others. Yeah, that's it. Wrap twice. I'm going to do five in each middle shell. There we go. Nice and smooth. So this is a cotton blend yarn we're using. One, two, three, four, five, and then chain one, and then wrap twice, and then find the center of the next one, right here. And then make that first triple stitch. And I will have to block this. This definitely is one that will need to be blocked. The blocking won't be able to happen until we get to the new place. Oh, I turned off the music. I need to turn back on again. Oops, and I didn't, didn't loop twice. All right. Too many things going on in my head. Too many things. Here we go. One, two, I think that's two wraps there. Oh no, I slipped off. Alright. Alright. Wrap, wrap. Two, 
two, and two, and two. And then our last one for this shell. And that's this particular pattern. So we're gonna keep making shells until it's long enough. How do I know when it's long enough? I just keep putting it on my shoulders until I like how long it is. That did not wrap twice, did it? Thank you for that. Three, four, and this is the fifth stitch. Yeah, another epic. Is that an epic archer? Ooh, the surprising amount of epics you can put down. harder to pull this out for some reason. I wonder if it's getting tangled on the inside. That'd be bad. Oh, you know what I still need to do? to ping the nerdy knitters and ask them what the, the the annual challenge is for this year because I missed that. I did not, I was not paying attention. from a sci-fi movie would you like to have? A TARDIS. I'd like a TARDIS. That's what I'd like. Tech-wise.
So this is my first project where I'm using this triple uh, triple crochet stitch. Uh, and obviously you can see I'm getting a lot of practice with it. There's, that's pretty much all this is. Shells and triples. Shells made out of triples. So... Now this pattern originally called for like an extra fuzzy yarn. Um, I wanted green. I was also thinking about edging it in black, but I don't know how that's going to work if I have a button band. I want to use like black fun fur, so it would match my headset. Not this headset, the other headset. My work headset. Now sometimes I wonder if I have too many crochet hooks, but unfortunately it's like I use the same sizes most often, so when I need a certain size, sometimes it's already being used by another project and sort of stowed away, uh, and then I have a lot of like extra ones that I don't usually use, so it doesn't make a full set. I suppose I could give away some hooks to people who aren't interested in a full set. I could do an extra hook giveaway. Try at least make it, you know, put it on some cardboard stuff, like give away three hooks of some of the duplicates I have. Hopefully they're all in like the same size. in each shell. What we got for this. And do remember, we are fundraising for St. Jude as SWAT type helped us out a bit earlier. Uh, made me eat five bean boozles. What a way to start the stream. Five beans. But then we also kind of determined that my beans are getting old. So uh, he also <laughs> made sure I'm going to be getting a new box.
So yeah, I'm gonna have to call the apartment tomorrow and be like, so how does package delivery work? <laughs> and uh, can I come pick one up tomorrow? Tomorrow being Thursday. But actually it really won't matter because I'll be there Friday. But I should probably pick it up Thursday. Did I put this in the right spot? It seems like I missed... I didn't quite put that last stitch in the right spot. So, oh, go back one. And make sure we get them all in the right spots. still doesn't look like it's correct, but I know I did that right. But it still does not look correct, but you know what? We're gonna fix that. We're gonna put this one in the correct spot. Is that in the right spot? We're gonna say that's the right spot. It's mostly the right spot. Why this does not- why does this not want to do the thing it's supposed to do? Okay. I think that's the last one for there also. Lots of yarns. I'm gonna have to look at the book again when I get to the end, because I know there's some special stitches I gotta do. How close to the end? We're like two two shells away. most exciting thing you've done recently. Uh, I mean, I probably have to say signing for the new apartment. You now that we're gonna be moving, we've started the process, and signing, and we have a new place, and that's really exciting. So what about those of you in here? What is the most exciting thing you've done recently? Get itchy. Why am I itchy? I don't want to be itchy because of the makeup. That would be really sad. That may have been one of the reasons I didn't start wearing it ever because I couldn't stand the feeling of it on my face.
Okay, so chain one after the shell. Wait a second, am I supposed to be chaining one between each of these? No way. Chain one, skip next five chain spaces, shell next chain one sp Oh, okay. Wrong. I need to be looking at the- oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Maybe I may have to go back. Hold on. Is I supposed to add? I think I may have been forgetting. Oh. I think I may have forgotten a chain in there, but that is actually really hard to tell. I think I did though. So these few here are actually going to be a little more bunched up than the rest of them. Now nah, I'm gonna go back and fix it. Let's let's make sure that's exactly what's supposed. To. Chain five, counts one chain. Treble, chain one, treble, and first treble half shell made. Chain one, skip next six. Chain one, skip next six, treble. Oh, it's a shell between last skip and next CC. Okay, so the shell is actually written somewhere else. Let me make sure I got the shell right, because I know they do explain it under special stitches somewhere. There's a special stitches bit. Okay, it's so actually here. You can see that there's the loops there. Is yeah. All right. Yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to put one in each of them. Okay. One between each of them. So everything I've done so far gets to get pulled out. Everything I've done so far on stream. Not everything I've done so far. But everything I've done so far on stream today gets pulled out. It's actually kind of easy to tell where to stop. about here. Boo. And here's where I need to do my first chain one. And then loop two. And then we continue what we've been doing. I was just missing a chain one in between most of the stitches. So finish it and chain one, and then continue. All right, time to put down another dude for me. I'm gonna put the guy down over here. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we got three minutes left till battle.
last one for this shell. Look how fast that goes. Tells me to put it in the chain one space of the middle one. So if that's chain one. This there's not an, there's an odd number of that. So yeah, that's why I was doing it the way I was doing it. It doesn't actually end up being the center. Which is strange. Now it would work if there were six in each shell. to the next shell. My dexterity is a little off. It's on my eyes though. I'm wondering if I'm just a bit tired. What did I have for dinner? I had something for dinner. Did I? Maybe I didn't. And it's battle time! There it is I put the glasses on. That makes it really difficult to see. Difficult to supposed to see up close stuff. All right, battlefield. All right, we got more dudes than we've had previously. Let's take a look at how this battle goes. Oh, are all of our guys stuck? They can't move yet. Oh no. Oh, my centurion's off doing uh, some tanky things, so that's good. That's actually really good because you can have the mage. Or protect the mage. Oh, we got all these dudes. All these guys. Snow goblins? Yeah, we can move now! Excellent, excellent job. map tier 11 complete all right so it's you have five barbarian scrolls and balloon buster yay upgrade the balloon buster oh i have two i can upgrade balloon buster's now level four and my flag bearer yes what level is she she's level no flag bearer where did she go leveled up and then kind of disappeared you're a flag bearer. Okay, there she is. Level 11. Hey, what's this versus thing? Charity tournament series. Each versus raises one win. It raises a dollar for charity and gets you a ticket to win entry into the final charity tournament and prize packs. Uh, okay, so the next one's on the 20th. Oh, well, these are qualifying rounds. I'm not part of that, so... Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the campaign. Oh, and we're on the boss fight. We are on the boss. So, yeah, we're gonna put. I'm gonna put down all my epics. All right. So, Snow King's hideout. Snow King bottom. Do we have to prevent him from like 
the bottom half of the Snow King. It rolls over its foes in a determined attempt to reach its other half and become whole again. Alright, so where's the Snow King top? I'm guessing that's it. Top half of the Snow King. It rolls over its foes in a determined effort to... Oh gosh, okay. So... Let's see what's good against you, Snow King. Well, the Balloon Buster. You know, we'll put War Beast down because he's amazing. That's just it. The War Beast is always amazing. He should, he's kind of always the answer for me. Alright, so we're gonna go back, show the creative stuff off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and have the bot play stuff. Can I do epics yet? I cannot do epics. Oh my gosh, my bot does not have... Um... War Beast. Oh, well, the little goblins will be smashed by the Orc Slayer. Okay, so we did our... Okay, chain one. Can't forget that chain one, because we saw what happens when I do forget it. I should probably have a date when I really want this finished. I have sort of a general... I have a weird idea of what I want from this, or when I want this done. Just need to decide if that's really what I want to do. Because there's like the original reason I started making it. And then there's some milestones. That are uh, happening. That I could tie in with the date I want this finished. And chain one, and then wrap two. I've missed most of my milestones this year. So, making one would be great. <laughs> Okay, and chain one. Did I forget a chain one in there? I don't think so. What's the most impactful video game you've played? Well, I mean, I really liked Skyrim. But I'm not sure if that was extremely impactful, other than, like, I sunk 400 hours into it. The question's mostly asking about, like, story. What story in a video game was extremely poignant? I'm not sure if there's like ever a video game that's brought me to tears or anything like that. One, two, three, four, five. I was like characters where I really was like emotionally attached to. I feel like there is, I just can't remember.
Hello, Ko, how are you? So, Ko, if you wanna, if you know some, like, an answer to the question, uh, what's the most impactful video game you've played? Video game story you've played? Yeah, so it is asking about, like, the story. Not like, how did a video game impact your life? One, two, three, four, I need one more. Five coming up right here. Ugh, yeah, I think the the makeup does make my eyes itch. It's like I know I'm they got glittery eyeshadow on my hands now. You're good. Your brother was visiting last week, but he left on Sunday. As for the question, I think I need a minute to think, but you think I have an answer. Yeah. Yeah, the questions are meant to, you know, spark conversation. Um I so I added this feature in uh, today, but some of the other features kind of broke, and I need to figure out why. But trying to figure things out like five minutes before you're supposed to start stream is a bad idea. <laughs> and that's what I did. So we get one working feature and most other broken features. I should probably turn the music back on. Oh, we are we do have a boss fight going on right now, Co. So if you want to put down some dudes, uh, that would be extra appreciated. And I'm going as soon as I finish the stitch, I'm gonna check and see if my timer's up. All right, I think I can put more guys down. Totally can. All right, do I want a mage though, or a templar? Those things good against what we got. The balloon buster's good. Maybe I'll stick the balloon buster. What? Why? That would be all sort of weird. What the hell? I'm going to restart, refresh. You think, for me, the most impactful video game story may have been Mass Effect 2 and 3. It just really pulled you in and you got very invested. I, Mass Effect's on my list of games to play. I haven't played that yet. Same with, like, Bioshock. There's a whole, like you know, era of gaming that, like, I just didn't have, like, my family, we, we didn't spend money on consoles. And we didn't spend money on, like, computers. Like, I had a, I had an out-of-the-box Dell, so, um, that, after a while, that really wasn't gonna play most of the games. And I didn't get my first computer that was mine until 2006, after I graduated undergrad. Oh. All right, let's see. Stream Raiders, you've got to get your laptop running first, but you'll definitely play some Stream Raiders. Yay! Stick my balloon buster over here. Maybe he can make a dent in the top half of the 
Snow dude. Where are we at? One, two, three, four. So this is my capelet, my lime green capelet. It's I'm making it so I have uh, something to wear that matches my headset when I have important meetings at work. Mostly because I just want to look all put together. Not like that it actually means I am, but in theory, maybe. Alright, that's five, isn't it? So I'm actually going to be placing this over here in the next show. Yay, thanks for placing dudes. Them dudes. Actually, Co, someone else was asking about you. They they realized they hadn't seen you in a while, so they they were actually getting concerned. So you were you were noticed. Uh, your your absence was noticed, and uh, didn't know how to contact you. Let's see. You got lucky with Mass Effect. My ex was borrowing it from a friend, so I got the chance to play it, and he loved it so much. That's cool. Rainbow! Oh my gosh! It worked! Oh my gosh! Hello, Rubescent! Here's the thing, I did not expect that to work. Because I updated stuff and it disappeared, like, I can't see that. But it worked! Hooray! For once it worked while you were here! I mean, it's been, it hasn't been not working all the time. Just sometimes I forget to start the program. But I started the program, I updated the program, and then stuff disappeared from the program, so I thought it didn't exist anymore. But it does, because you just got it to work. <laughs> I can't manage that, though. Like, if I wanted to change it, or even, like, get, like if I needed to delete it for some reason, I can't. Because I can't see it. Could have found... No, that's, that's just it. But when I went to go fix it, when I went to go add it again, it crashed the program. So I was like, well, guess we're not doing that. <laughs> Um, so, it, it's a test, like, it's a, I'm in a beta program. So, I, I messaged them, I'm like, hey guys, I can't see anything. Um, but apparently it still works, so I suppose I should have just tried it. But, but, but it's empty. I don't know why, oh crap. Makes it look like it's not there. So it's reading something, it's just not displaying it. The rainbow is just too powerful. Yeah! Tagged me in a thing on Discord while I was busy with my brother's visit, so I knew my absence was noted. While he was here, we wound up staying up so late, talking and playing games every night. Oh! No worries, yeah. Enjoy the time with your brother. Like, that's fine. We... We just didn't know that, like, you were going to be gone. We're like, everything okay? So yeah, it's a quiet night for me. I suppose I could put music on again. Well, yeah, I'm just, uh, just crocheting and making my thing. Just notify us next time, you meanie. We care about you enough that we notice when you're gone. Aww. Is the music too loud? I can turn it down. Music always almost feels too loud to me.
Now I can place another dude. Alright. Oh, we got Gold Ninja on the board with nice level 20. He's just gonna stomp everything in me. So we're at the end here. I get to do two triples. Here's first. Chain one, and here's a second. single crochet and I need to double check on how many singles I need to do how many I got a chain looks like I chained four one two three four one two three four and turn flip the whole piece around Four, and then I believe we chain one again. And we go right back into here. This yarn is really light and I keep like dropping it because I don't know where it's at in my hand. Like I expect it to be further down and it's not. <laughs> so I end up just dropping it. All right, chain one. All right, so it wants me to go in the chain one space. So now that I know that's what I'm doing, that's what we're going to do. Very intense music. I also might have to step aside for a second to take some painkillers. Um, painkillers and grab a hot chocolate. Good news, the visit went great. Woohoo! You managed to win, somehow managed to win a game of risks. So that's cool. Yay! How do you measure or define success? That's a question for anybody to answer. And everyone. Everyone can answer. Not, not just anyone, but everyone. So I added the new- the questions is a new part of the same bot that does the, the rainbow gif. Glad to hear that out. <laughs> okay, I will actually uh, allow that. We don't have a good answer for this one. So 
so I think a silly little way I like to define, or that I sort of mentally... Wait, that's not gonna work. I mean, that did work in that case, but it's not supposed to work like that. What? Hold up. Hold up. No, we're not gonna do that. That does not look right. But that actually might be the way I have to do it, because it... I need to go back. I need to flip it back. This is missing one of the... Missing one of the, the legs of the shell, which actually really does kind of mess up what happens to the girl above it. This music sounds like it's some like, you know, epic montage and, uh, you know, one of those like story, uh, you know, epic stories, um, where, uh, you know, your hero is, you know, making their armor and prepping for the battle and traveling to, to gather the forces and. But I do like it. It's, it's not that I don't like it, it's just that that's... It's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, so chain one. And then I guess... One here? One, two, three, four... You define success by achieving my goals, however small they may be. Well, I don't necessarily achieve all my goals, so maybe I just need to be more... I need to lower my bar? What? That's just it. I don't want to lower my bar. So, but like, personal success, as far as like... Uh, you know, earnings and stuff. Personal success. And this is a silly little bar to measure it by, but it's it's a tangible one. It's when I can go to a restaurant and order without looking at the prices on the menu. Since I haven't gone out to a restaurant in a long time, um, not quite sure where I'm at with that. But I will say there, there has been a time where I have been able to do that, and it's probably within the last two years. Uh, I have been able to go out and eat without looking at the prices on the menu. Your brother's great before we took him. I was pretty different. His influence really changed my perspective on a lot of things. He also introduced me to fighting games, which I appreciate. Before we took him in. Okay. Oh yeah, there's still dudes to be put down for the thing. What is this? We got five minutes. So I think I'm gonna have seconds left to place. Oh, I'll have like 30 seconds left to place my last person. What fighting games do you play?
that's one, two, three, four, and this is five here. Don't have any current ones, but series, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Soul Calibur. Yeah. I was really into Soul Calibur for a long time. Like, I had friends who had it on both Xbox and PC. And, like, I got really good at using Ivy. Like, stupid good at using her. And I, I would... I would get kind of be a snob about it. Like, I would jump on... I think... It, I don't remember which one I knew the controls the best. I think I knew the PlayStation controls the best. So I would jump on Xbox to play with someone. I was like, hold on. Let me remap the keys before I play. <laughs> and they were just like, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, I became- I was one of- I, I became that player. I liked her a lot. Um, uh, also the- The Asian martial arts lady. She had lots of- she- she- I don't think she had a weapon. You played Link in 2 and Custom in 3. Link? You know, I got Soul Calibur 6, like, Collector's Edition. Um, there was, like, this local game store that had it for relatively inexpensive, and I got it, and I barely played it. Like, I didn't even get through the story. I got halfway through the story. But, like, I didn't even unlock all the characters. But, you know, I had also started working a full-time job, so I had less time for games. I had more money to buy them, but less time to play them. Haichi from Tekken was the PS2 guest character, and Spawn was the Xbox. Nice! Last Soul Calibur you played was 5. Yeah, I played 2 and then 6. <laughs> like, I had a big gap in there because I went to grad school. Um, and I wasn't- I didn't have a console while I was in grad school. I had a computer, and I played World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, it wasn't until I came out to California that I got another console, so I got a- I was- Got a PS3 for Christmas that first year. So Christmas 2010, I got a PS3. Um, and then when Jingles and I were together, he got a PS4. We have a PS4, so I don't know. I don't think we're really planning on getting a PS5, at least not right away. Like, we have so much stuff on the computer already. We don't really need more entertainment pieces. 
Um, I can see us possibly getting a PS5 for the integration it has with other stuff. <sighs> but probably not this first round of PS5. 3 was your first Soul Calibur though, it was good. Oh my gosh, I had, was introduced it to 2 while I was in college, and oh my goodness, I was... Loved it. <laughs> I just, I loved it so much. Um, like, I don't really get fighting games for the most part. But, like, Soul Calibur, I could finally piece things together. Alright, let's go ahead and start this battle. Uh, after we pause the music, because the music's conflict. Okay, so I was hoping that these guys would go to this guy first, and they're not. But, good, we have a good chunk going there. We need to stop them from meeting each other. Oh my gosh, what is that? That rogue, holy cow. Fasty Dave. Yeah, Fasty Dave, your rogue is ridiculously fast. Alright guys, we got Captain's Chest. Everyone gets eight. We got two winners to uh, get stuff. We're gonna go ahead and go random. Ciao. Bot and Gold Ninja. Nice. Thank you for putting down your dudes, Gold Ninja. So glad we got that boss. Boss defeated, yes! That is, what was that, 36 boss kill. Alright, let's see, we got, uh, we got a blue chest up top, we're gonna go up top. And we'll have like th two battles? We'll do two more today, and then we'll pick up again on Thursday. Let's see, what do we got here? Enemies will be revealed over time! It must be a level 20 rogue, one of the perks you can pick for that class is run fast. Ah! Mm, what do I want to put down? We'll go Centurion. It's the frozen river, guys. Ow, oh, ow, I yawned and something cracked in my jaw. Man, that was weird. It cracked and it hurt. Um, I was going to get painkillers. I need to get painkillers. Um and hot cocoa, and I'll be back.
We're back. And we got stream captains running. Stream raiders. And I got my hot chocolate. And this time I didn't just use the Swiss Miss. I used Ovaltine, which is like vitamins in a drink. Vitamins in a chocolate drink. I mean, what more can you ask for? Not much more. Vitamins in a chocolate drink. Yes. I'm almost out anymore. Oh, yes, nice and warm. It's not particularly cold here. I mean, I'm in Southern California. It doesn't really get that cold. Um, what is something you've won and how did you win it? Also, speaking of winning, we are at $200 raised for St. Jude. Yeah, 200. If we get to 250, or let's be positive, say when we get to 250, there is a giveaway for a St. Jude t-shirt, stickers, and a $25 Joann's gift card. Food and maybe eggnog. Oh, ho, ho. So what is something you've won and how did you win it? I have a few things I've won. Let's see. I have a Twitch Kittens mug, and I won that in a Twitter giveaway. I have also, I won a Twitter giveaway, and that was from Twitch Kittens, which is a pretty big stream team. Stream team and their Twitch Kittens community, also very big. Um, hundreds of people on the team. Hmm, you haven't won many objects that you can think of. Um, oh, I won a $200 Target gift card, and that was from a photo contest that, uh, like a college was hosting a day on the farm kind of thing, and they had a photo contest that went along with it. And they said they based it off of the you know, likes and retweets and whatever on any of the social medias, um, but the photo that won was one of my photos but there were definitely people still using the hashtags but they were all like selfies they weren't pictures of the event so um i was taking pictures of some like the they had some like latvian dancers and so i had some cool pictures of the dancers that won A Michael Jordan large gold card set from a Snapple cap. That is cool! Because, like, you always wonder if the, you know, the, the cap games actually give you stuff. What else did I win? I mean, I've won... Have I won? I've won some giveaways in other people's channels. Um, I won a sticker from Beetle at Bay. Um, I'm pretty sure I want a sticker from Mini Burger. Um, what else do I have back on my wall there? I did an art exchange for that piece. Um, an art exchange for that piece. What else did I win? Oh, I won an elephant, an elicorn, an elephant unicorn from one of Fairy Wings things. Um, oh, Quill Tony, uh, when you donate to her St. Jude stuff, they do raffles. And I won a, uh, a sewing kit. And it's, uh, to learn how to sew... I think it's a simple sewing thing, like you sew your own bracelets or something. Like it's like how to use up your scrap uh, scrap fabric. I won an essay contest when I was really young. I wrote an essay and won like ten or twenty dollars. Um, 
The essay was about how I helped out around the house and my mom didn't like it because I said my mom was tired a lot. And I helped out and because she was tired and she didn't like that. But I won. So... <laughs> she like couldn't be too mad. Oh my gosh, a pie eating contest? I've never actually seen like a pie eating contest. I didn't really know they were I've, I've seen hot dog eating contest. I participated in a hot dog eating contest. Just one year though. And a couple of small Christmas things from a raffle. Oh, actually I did win, I won a Halloween thing. I went to a Halloween event with some friends and there was a coloring contest. They had a basically a blank pumpkin on a sheet and they're like, make the most interesting pumpkin you can. And of course everyone's using orange and black. So like, and it's crayons, we're drawing with crayons. I was probably like 10. <laughs> Bingo games. Nice. So, because like all the, the orange and black were taken, like I made my pumpkin like purple and green or something. And I want a flashlight. <laughs> it was an orange and black flashlight. So it was really cool because it was for Halloween. Like having a flashlight when you go trick or treating. Yeah. So it was, I want an orange and black flashlight because I, I used slightly different colors in my pumpkin and everybody else was just doing black and orange. Actually, I don't even think I used green. I think I just made the eyes purple. And that was it, because like the blacks were all being used, but I still managed to grab an orange. It wasn't that different, but apparently it was more different enough. Of course then I won it, and one of my friends was like, well, you really should let so-and-so have it, because they're the ones who invited you. And I'm like, but it's because I was creative that I won it. <laughs> I didn't really understand, like they were kind of upset that I won it and they didn't, and I was kind of like, but... And like, the lady was walking around the thing being like, Be creative, everyone! Do something different! So, it's not like they didn't know. <laughs> I went to state fairs a lot when I was little, and there was always a hands-free pie-eating contest. I won with like five or six little mini pies because it was all mini pies. Nom 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 mini pies. Oh man. That sounds really good. I don't even, I almost don't care what they're made out of, whether chicken pot pies, whether cherry pies, like pumpkin pie, like a mini pie sounds really good right now. Did I eat dinner? I don't think I ate dinner. <laughs> I might just be very hungry. What else did I eat? I feel like there's something I won recently. Something else I won recently. By recently, I mean like in the past, like since I've been living in California. So past 10 years is what I mean by recently. Oh, another Twitter giveaway. I won um, an Overwatch playmat, which is one that I'm giving away um, because I don't use the big playmats anymore. All of yours were blueberry. You were a mess afterwards. Yeah, so I won, and this is the one I'm really surprised at, and that's why I mentioned that the Twitch Kittens is a big community, because this one I actually won from Razor, like, also a really big following. So I retweeted a thing where I got a copy of Overwatch and an Overwatch playmat. So. That was cool. But that's basically how Jingles and I got Overwatch, because I was like, well, I really want to get Overwatch as, so I get the in-game World of Warcraft stuff, so you can have this copy that I won and I will go buy the deluxe copy because I, I don't know which version. It turns out that like it was the collector's edition version and someone must have just wanted the statue and not the, not the code for the actual game. But I got the playmat, so I got Overwatch playmat. Uh, which said it, it's also it's part of the giveaways the overwatch playmat is good uh, not good let's try to overwatch playmat will be given away when we hit 375 dollars and you can choose between saint jude playmat or overwatch playmat so there's two of them
I'm gonna just I'm gonna finish my hot chocolate before I go ahead and start a crocheting again. like high school and college like I didn't win really anything I mean I had a team event there was a 24-hour trivia contest and our team won that but I don't think we won anything we just won like recognition <laughs> but like it was such a small bit of recognition that like it was kind of whatever I mean we got props for our from our friend group What is something you know a lot about, but never expected to? Fifty bucks from scratch cards, yeah! You know, and for all the yarn giveaways that I've entered, I haven't won any yarn. But I did win, like, a drawing for some spinning fiber. So I have some really pretty purple sparkly spinning fiber. It's only, like, one ounce, so it's not a lot. Um, but I did win that. But yeah, for all the yarn giveaways I've entered, the ones I post in the Discord, like, I haven't won any of those. And I probably... Hundreds. Hundreds. Oh, also, if you like books, um, Goodreads. I've won probably, I've won dozens of books off of Goodreads giveaways. So, Goodreads is, I guess, owned by Amazon, but still operates as a separate entity. Um, but they have lots of giveaways to try and, you know, get authors' names out there. And you can win either Kindle versions or you can win physical versions of books. On the subject of winning something, but not getting anything, I was on the winning side of a campus-wide human versus zombies game in college. I literally had a dream about something like that. A humans versus zombies game. It was a terrible dream. <laughs> so, in this dream... Did I write about this in the Discord? I may have. Sometimes I, like, share my dreams. Um, so in this dream, it was supposed to be a three-day event. And each day you were assigned to wear certain clothing and you were assigned a wave to go out like this was a big event that was planned you never expect to know as much as you do about any of the things i know random facts about and in this human versus zombie game event thing um you were and then, so you were assigned certain clothes to wear, and you were assigned a person and a wave number. So you go out, in the, you guys, in theory, go out in the same wave. Um, and you were supposed to uh, eliminate them from the game. Like, I think it was like paintball or something or whatever. And so if you eliminated them, basically you got the point for the day. Because they didn't necessarily have to eliminate you, they had, they had somebody else as their target. Oh, I did talk about it on stream. You can only imagine how terrifying it must have been. Yeah, it was super weird. Alright, so I won't talk about it now then. I'm already tired of talking about it. Um, oh, the question about what... Um, what do you know a lot about but never expected to? I think the thing that surprised me the most... That, like... I started learning about and like dug deep into it was probably photography. Um, I took a well, I, I got a job working at Walgreens, and I just expected to be a cashier. But they're like, "Hey, you're over eighteen. You, we need someone to work in the photo lab. You need to be over eighteen to work in the photo lab." And I'm like, "Okay, that sounds cool." You know, just kind of like whatever. Uh, and started working in the photo lab and really, really liked it. 
So when I went off to college, I actually took photography classes and minored in photography. So I have, I have a minor in photography. <laughs> Guys, we are going to crush this. There's so many dudes on our field here. Like, and this is just a, a one skull thing. We're totally, absolutely going to crush this. You know more about retail than you ever want to know? So yeah, photography for me. Um, probably streaming in general. I never would have thought that I would be... Like, I've done a lot of just general research on streaming stuff and like and that led to like how, uh, articles and information on running your own business because streaming is a business if you're an affiliate or higher. Um, make money, you gotta treat it like a business. You don't necessarily have to maximize it or make it efficient, but it's still a business relationship between you and Twitch. Uh, so yeah, the running the small business type thing, the streaming, the integrations, going out and finding new bots and new programs. Uh, I did not expect to be the type of person to go do that, but I am. <laughs> Let's see. What else do I know a lot about? Fiber arts. I never expected to, like, spin my own yarn or, like, process my own wool. <laughs> I never... That's not something I thought I would ever... I, I mean, it was completely unexpected. Not that I ever thought I wouldn't do it. Like, there's very few things I ever thought that I wouldn't do. Living in California is one of them. I never thought I'd be out here. I'm like, California, I am not interested in going out there at all. The only place I'd be sort of interested in visiting is San Francisco. Guess what? I have still never been to San Francisco. So. There's that. Yeah, California was a place I like actively wanted to avoid. thought Hollywood was so fake and whatever. I mean, Hollywood is fake, but like... Yeah. Well... Fifteen-year-old me would be very surprised at where I ended up in life. Let's just say that. Okay, hot chocolate is done. How much time we got on the battle? Like seven minutes. If we can make some more progress on the capelet here. Just so you guys know, there's a list of like 200 questions, and I have it set to go off every 10 minutes? 10 minutes. So, hopefully it is a very random thing, because answering the same questions every stream would be really annoying. As a writer, I've researched a lot of odd topics I never imagined. The taste of bugs, the history of tea koozies. Oh, really? The limits of the human body. Kid me would probably not be surprised, just confused. Making sure I didn't twist my stuff. Thought that they were all. It would be possible for me to actually twist it, and that would have to come out. Yeah, I do a bit of research on some stuff that I find very strange. Oh, what was it I was looking up today? One of the things I had to look up the other day was uh, symbolism of crosses on skulls, specifically on the forehead. 
that was something. Uh, I had to look up a bit about uh, sugarcane and the colonization of Haiti. That was something I was looking up. You have to relive one of your days forever. What day do you choose? Ooh, so if you get to choose which day is your Groundhog Day. Oh, man. There's this one day we went hiking at a place called Bridge to Nowhere, and it was one of the most relaxing evenings I've had. It was a really amazing evening. However, the, the rest of the day, like before sunset, was kind of crazy. So I don't know if I'd want to live that whole day forever. Too many days to count. Oh, Rubescent, that's really awesome. Like, I can't even say something like, oh, my wedding day. Because that was a weird... It was like this weird lonely feeling. Battle in 51 seconds. I should probably put a guy down, huh? Alright. This will probably be- I know I said two more, this will probably be the last one. I'm actually kind of tired. I don't want to have to stay up later. Um, past 10. Gosh darn it, screwed up another one. But this is too far in the work, I'm not gonna go backwards for this one. It's also one of those things that only I'm going to notice it. start. Oh, okay, I'm gonna keep the glasses on even though it's difficult to see the screen. Well, it's actually the screen's fine. 
What might I look up to read? Woohoo! It was a pretty easy win. We kind of knew it was going to be an easy win. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Frosty Dave and HCG bot. All right. We're going to keep going top row so we can go over here and get this skins chest. But this, this level 2 one here, this is going to be the last one for today. We will be playing again on Thursday. So yeah, get those wins in. All right, walking glaciers. Let's see, what, what guys do I have available? I have Monk. My Monk and Healer are like lowest levels, so let's let's get let's get him on the field. Get him some some love there, some scroll love, scroll loving. All right, and then we come back to the crochet. Yeah, forever is a mighty long time. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of like days that I thought were really good. I mean, there could be the day where I surprised my family uh, for Christmas, but the thing is, I was exhausted that whole day. But surprising my family was really hilarious. I think my brother-in-law's reaction was the funniest. Uh, we went, like, my aunt and uncle were hosting the Christmas gathering. This was last year. Uh, they were hosting the Christmas gathering. And so I showed up. I'd surprised my mom and my brother first. Why is this not going where it needs to? Like, this happened earlier, too, where it's like, oh, let me fix it. And I fixed it, but it's not actually fixed. Uh, yeah, so we were at my aunt and uncle's house, and my sister, and her husband, and the girls come in, and my sister just had her baby. Like, she had had her baby in... When is her birthday? Anyway, the baby was only a few months old. I'll have to look it up. I think maybe September? October? November? Yeah, I don't remember when the baby's birthday is. Um... Anyway, so yeah, so my sister, like, at least three months, like, about within the, within the three month span. So, baby was still very new. Um, not September. That, that would have been way too. Because my si like, very new baby. Uh, my sister was still being very protective about who was holding her. Um, um, because we had already started hearing about coronavirus, you know, back in December. And, uh, so my sister's, my sister's a nurse, so she was being, like, super extra cautious. And, um, but also, it was a brand new baby, she didn't want baby to get sick. Um, but I was the only one she let hold the baby, because 
I am her auntie and her sister. And my, my aunt was a little sad that I got to hold the baby and she didn't. And, like, I, I don't feel like, well, I have a right to. No, not at all. Like, I'm like, that's my sister's rules. <laughs> Sorry. I say, not really agony, because if anything, you just have a different perspective emotionally. I say agony, given my current pain levels and the stipulation that I would stop at a current forever. If I say I became vampire and lost all my pain and such, then yeah, gotcha. I still don't know what's going on because I know that I did the thing and I like checked it twice, three times. Alright, so I don't know how I'm- I know I did it right. Yeah, I don't know why that was being so hard to, like, see. One, two, three, four... And five... Yeah. Yeah, I wonder why that was so hard to see. It's like, I, I knew I was doing it right, but then when I went to go finish the stitch, it looked wrong. could become Deadpool. We'd actually love that. Despite his physical pain and constant death and cancer, he's your favorite Marvel character and you love him so you'd be thrilled. Yeah. I mean, Deadpool and Captain Jack Harkness kind of have the same, uh, you know, death and rebirth issue. Um, like, you know, Deadpool, you know, was pumped full of a bunch of chemicals, and, uh, Jack Harkness was infused with the TARDIS, so he's constantly regenerating. Well, hello, hello there! Ginger Filmmaker, welcome to the channel. We are just having a chill day of crochet, stream raiders, doing some fundraising for St. Jude. Uh, we already had a uh, quite the donation at the beginning of our stream, where we had a lovely request for me to eat a, uh, five bean boozle beans. Uh, yeah. Five. <laughs> so that was a fantastically crazy way to start off a stream. You just showed up, you're loving the vibes. Awesome. Glad to have you. Um, let's see. We're doing our last Stream Rangers battle, so 20 minutes. I usually go from like 7 to 10 on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays while we're fundraising for St. Jude. Uh, Pacific time. 7 to 10 Pacific time.
But yeah, so I also started, we got a new question bot going on. What's the new question we got? It, uh... What's the biggest punishment you've ever received? What did you do to... And what did you do? Not let's say to earn it, because it's possible to get a punishment without earning it. Biggest punishment I ever received. Uh, I mean, I was grounded for two weeks. That's probably the worst thing I've done. Um, I was seven years old and I called 911 on a dare. And the police came to my friend's house and then the police came to my parents' house. I was grounded for two weeks. Which at that time was really bad because I was I was seven, so like summers lasted forever. It was in the summertime. My friend Katie's birthday party. And also at seven years old, they're like in no computers or anything. Like being grounded just meant I stayed in my room. I, I, that, I did not do anything. I did not get new books. Like I read a lot and I like read all the books in the house already. I didn't get new books. I wasn't allowed to go outside. Um, and two weeks was a long freaking time. That's also what we when we learned um, what uh, caller ID was. That was that was caller ID. Police had caller ID before the rest of the people did, so none of us knew what it was. It wasn't a thing yet. But yeah, then we learned that the police can track you by phone number. Technically classifies as child abuse. That's okay, Co. Um, yeah, you don't have to share that. Um, I, I will say there are definitely some other things that I have skipped. I should probably rephrase that question or take it out. Gosh, I pulled so much out that it's like tangled. That's unusual. You take it out, keep only questions, which most likely lead to positive results. Alright. Let's go ahead and edit that now. I have to edit in like two places. Alright, so one is in my Google Drive. Telling the story doesn't bother me any because I'm honestly numb to my own trauma most of the time and don't even realize it's bad until someone else points it out. But knowing that it's bad, I don't want to bother anyone else. No, the call that makes a good, that's a good point. There are definitely some stories that I share and then when I stop, I'm like, people are just like staring at me like, what? I'm like, oh, yeah, I suppose that's not normal, is it? Sorry about that. Like, <laughs> all right. So that one was the punishment one. All right. Let's take. 
take it out of here. And I need to take it out of the local file too. I just blast smoke negative stuff from my memory to keep hold of my sanity. That's a... That is a coping mechanism. Alright, so that question is now out. We will not get it anymore. I mean, most of the questions, I just went to websites um, and like, yeah, you know, it wasn't really like, how do you start small talk, but it's just like questions you can ask anybody. I like answering these kinds of questions and sometimes like, I like them to be fun questions. So yeah, the punishment one, it's a good call to take it out. I probably would have taken it out. Like, I did try rephrasing it in my head, and I'm like, man, every rephrasing I do just makes it sound worse. So. Better phrasing. What's the worst trouble you got yourself into as a kid? Yeah, that is a good, that is a better one. Alright, let me... I'll add that in. Do, 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 do. Put that at the bottom. Save that. Back to the Google Drive. Go to the bottom. What's the worst trouble you got yourself into as a kid? There we go. I know it's not general subject in school. Oh, that's right, that's the, the subject one. What school subject do you wish you never had to take? You wish you never took your public speaking class or your movement course in college. Well, there's, there's two different, because one is what's the punishment, the other is what did you do to get yourself in trouble? So we're not asking about the punishment. It can be the same event, but like, you know, what you did versus what was done to you. Like, I could rephrase it. What's the worst thing you trouble I got myself into as a kid? Called 911 at my friend's birthday party. On a dare. We flooded the first floor of my house because I accidentally forgot I left the hose on to fill the fish tank. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Getting yourself in trouble has nothing to do with the punishment that might follow for the sake of retelling story. Yes, exactly. That's where I'm going with that. Never really liked history classes because they were worse for dyslexia. History is really rough. I was very glad are really rough to, it's re, it would be really rough for someone with dyslexia i do not have that but i have some friends who do but i feel like i was also very lucky where my history teachers were like we're not so focused on the dates but we want you guys to know what the cause and effect were of specific things 
So they're like, there's some big things you need to know dates for. Like, the dates the wars happened. Um, but there's some, the stuff in between is not as important just as long as you know the right order. Everyone's Twitch just messed up? Uh oh. Those are definitely the best history teachers. I have some amazing history teachers. Um, I actually went for advanced history mostly because I liked hanging out with the people. Like, not just the history teachers, but the, the, the other classmates as well. Like, I was like, meh on history. Uh, I mean, I participated and I got excited with everyone else. That's just, our history teachers got us excited about history. So, uh, like, we turned it, they turned it in, like, really fun events to really get you, like, we, oh god, we did so many cool things uh, for history. <laughs> um, one of my first presentations I did was, um, it was on a culture, we were supposed to choose a culture, and they had, like, a list of cultures to choose from that you weren't familiar with and do a report on it. And so I chose Amish, and so I did a report on Amish culture, and I actually baked uh, some shoe fly pie and brought it in to class and shared it with the class. So shoe fly pie was an Amish recipe. English in general is your worst subject. You're a terrible writer. Um. Oh, excuse me. The class that I wish I ha see, I didn't have to take this particular class. Uh, I took it because I knew the teacher outside of school and I wanted to see what his class was like. That was a mistake. Um, so I was, I, I took Aikido. I took three years of Aikido when I was in college. And one of the Aikido instructors was a sociology teacher. Um, he was one of the most boring teachers ever. He was great as a t an Aikido instructor. But, like, not really engaging as a teacher. And he's a really nice dude! But I couldn't... I could barely stay awake in his class. So, like, I wish I hadn't taken his class. Um, because I would never have had anything bad to say about him. Like, I would never be able... Because like, then... Yeah. <laughs> You can't stream to fix on my end, so you can't hear anything. If I can have to lead, sadly, but you don't think I'll be fixed unless I can get blown on my laptop. Oh, sad. I'm sorry, Ko. <laughs> oh, put this dude here. Okay, don't want to lose my loop. That would be sad. And again, with the light yarn. I'm not used to yarn this light and this thin. Next row. Oh, goodness. All right, battle will be ready in six minutes, guys. Six minutes. I feel like this is the most crochet progress I've made in one stream in a very long time. Like, 
When I make Amis, I don't really feel like I make a lot of progress because there's so there's so many little pieces and it gets frustrating quickly. But like we did two or three rows on this today. What is the most meaningful compliment you've ever received? Oh man. Most meaningful compliment. I got one just the other day, like, I was... I was very surprised at what they said. But I can't remember what it was. Actually, well, there's, there's one that was pretty meaningful, not like, maybe not the most, but... Um, I was talking with my... one of my co-workers who's sort of... He's not really the guy I report to, but he's one who can help me. It's not the beard on the outside that matters, but the beard on the inside. Aww, Bane in your beard. Yeah, so I was talking to my coworker the other day, and I was saying something along the lines of, Yeah, I'm, you know, working on forgiving this person for something, but I feel like it could be a really bad idea, and I'm probably an idiot for moving forward and forgiving them. And he's like, No, 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 don't you ever change. He's like, We need someone like you around. He's like, don't get down on yourself for that. We need you. <laughs> just the th 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 like his just the, his emphasis on that was just like, no, you be you and you stay you. <laughs> He's like, that's what makes you amazing. That you just you see the good in people. Like keep seeing the good in people. I was like, wow. I, wow. Didn't. So yeah, that was, that was... Yeah, but true though? Which part? The, the keep seeing the good in people, or...? Yeah, you keep being the you that has hope, aww. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess that's what it is. No, this. <laughs> Not everyone can be a jaded, salty bastard. We need you for contrast. <laughs> Actually, uh, Bane, you want to know who said that? That was JB. <laughs> that, that was JB I was talking to. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my goodness! Anonymous donation to... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sorry, babe. <laughs> Thank you for that donation! So, the alerts will go off twice. That's fantastic. Got stream to fix! Yay, Ko! So, what is it? My, do I have a $20 level? I think I don't have a $20 level, but I think I might have two tens. I'm guessing Mr. or Ms. Anonymous is probably more interested in two tens. Wait a second, what's this? Oh, some of my numbers didn't match up. I was very confused. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab two bean boozle beans. I have a feeling I know who that crazy don't know person was. Could be wrong, but my guess it's, you know, probably the person who's putting the the lulls in chat. Mister Senor! I kind of want to get a clip of her, like, we need to record her doing that and then, like, have, like, a, an orange cat gif on stream or some on screen. <laughs> That'd be so great. Oh, you're just broke? Okay, well... I just started picking colors if it were me. Well, I'm just gonna randomly grab. So, Anonymous, thank you for your donation. Alright, first one... Looks like it's gonna be the Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Here we go. Hop. Ow. I missed it on my first chomp down. Yep, girl share socks. Got that cheesy flavor in with the fruity. Yep. Mmm. It's not going down. Like, there's something about that particular flavor bean that, um, it gets worse at the end. Alright, so that was bean number one. Of bean number two. Alright, so this is, uh, either the buttered popcorn- oh god, this one's so scary. Buttered popcorn. Or rotten egg. Right. <laughs> the egg. Okay. Ugh. Rotten egg is really awful. I'm brushing my teeth right after stream. Oh man. So there you have it. Bean Boozle Beans <laughs> for the donations for the kids. Um, well, there's also Stink Bug. Stink Bug is also pretty bad. There's something about the Stink Bug one that's actually stronger. What else we got here? Uh, actually, there's a lot of really bad flavors here. So Stink Bug's pretty bad. Rotten Egg is pretty bad. Barf is pretty bad. Booger, not so bad. Stinky socks, not so bad. Dirty dishwater, that one's just weird. Like, it's not bad, bad, but weird. Um, toothpaste, so basically if you get the blue ones, 
this toothpaste. Um, it's kind of like it's not loose. All right, Rubescent, have a great night. Uh, canned dog food. I did get canned dog food earlier today. Rainbow! It was just weird. Rainbow. <laughs> um, spoiled milk, also really bad. And then dead fish, also really bad. So I'd say half of them are really awful. But you have the potential of getting the regular flavor too. So, spoiled milk or coconut. But it's the same color. The coconut baby wipes one in some versions. Blech. You're allergic? Yeah, like coconut. Yeah, you've said that. Toothpaste mint, yeah. <laughs> Making streaming a viable living business. That is kind of a crazy thing. Alright, we have a battle to win. Oh, we gotta pause the other music. Bane, your rogue is just like all over. He's just like, I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna get this one. Well, we got these little guys down here. They're like, we're coming! We're coming! <laughs> all right, we win! Yay! And Ko gets 15 gold, yay! Everybody enjoy your 5 gold. Back to map. And we will be picking this up again on Thursday. And I have Templars. Yay, Templar scrolls. And Healer scrolls. And I get to upgrade my Templar. Something just made a weird noise behind me. Like, a really weird noise. Like a plop. Like someone was pouring a glass of water or something. That's super strange. Because there's nobody in the room with me. And the heater's off. It's an oil heater, so sometimes it makes like weird liquid noises. But it's off. So maybe. Okay, um, let's see. Let's find someone who's also doing St. Jude. Let's see, who else is doing St. Jude? Maybe also doing creative? Um, this person's name looks familiar. Do I know them? I, I don't think so. Ah, I, I th let me make sure this is what I think it is. Yes, okay. So I think I've met this person before. Uh, there, it's Sakura Sushi 82 um, and uh, I've met them, they, I think they stopped by for when I was doing a Just Dance stream, and they are also a Just Dance streamer, but they are currently doing Just Chatting and uh, raising money for St. Jude. Let's go ahead and raid them. It's a mature channel, so if you're not interested in a mature channel, you may leave the raid at this time. ahead and grab that for myself. Okay. All right, and I hope you guys will have a fantastic Tuesday night, Wednesday, and Thursday day, and I will see you Thursday evening. <laughs>